Today I'm going to show you how you can grow Hygrophila pinnatifida in your aquascape or aquarium. So where are you going to place your Hygrophila pinnatifida in the aquarium? Well this plant can attach itself to wood via the root system or it can also attach itself to rocks or if you like you can even plant it in the substrate and it'll grow just fine there. How does Hygrophila pinnatifida spread within your aquarium or aquascape? Well, if we have a look at this diagram here, we see we've got a main plant here growing up. So if we started with that plant, then over time, the main plant down the bottom here develops these side shoots, which spread out in all sorts of directions. And then they come across here and then new leaves will form with new root system moving over and then another plant will form there and then root systems will come down and they'll automatically attach themselves to rock here or to wood there or anywhere in your aquarium for that matter. How much Hygrophila pinnatifida do you need to start your aquarium or aquascape? This Hygrophila pinnatifida was from one initial plant about seven to eight inches long. And then over time, it just spread. So I'll show you some footage now. As we can see here, we've got the eight inch plant just growing there. Then over time, it developed all these small side shoots going off in every direction. And then it spread out throughout the aquarium. And then I'll teach you now how we can propagate that and move it to other parts of the aquarium. To propagate this plant, it's very simple. All you need to do is take a pair of scissors and cut the plant at the side shoot there. So if we're gonna propagate this section here, this part of the plant, all I'd have to do would be to cut it about this area here and then I'd have another plant so then that plant can be moved anywhere into the aquarium and just uh, wedge it in between wood or between rocks you can even use elastic band or glue if you really need to attach it and then it'll grow another plant from there and then the whole process will start off again so that plant will big like this one here and again it'll develop side shoots and keep spreading. Let's talk about trimming Hygrophila pinnatifida now. If you don't trim it, it'll encourage the stems to grow high and tall within the aquarium with long leaves. So we can see here the stem going up, growing towards the light with long leaves from the base plant there. But with more regular trimming of this plant, you'll encourage much more compact growth. As we can see here, the leaves become shorter and much more dense. So if you keep doing this over time, you will really end up with a nice compact, bushy plant. So what conditions in your aquarium will allow this plant to really thrive? Well, good lighting, very important. You also need a good supply of CO2, as well as regular liquid fertilization. If this plant is attached to wood or rocks because it will feed from the roots. Or if you're gonna plant it in the soil, you're gonna need some nutrient rich aquarium soil to ensure really good healthy growth of this plant. And also my aquarium is soft water and we can see how it's doing in the soft water conditions. So I wish you all success with your Hygrophila pinnatifida aquascapes. We're really keen to know how you go. Let me know how you use it in the aquarium.